well. We're um, yeah, I'm very excited to chat to uh, Rick from from Ash. Um, pretty pretty exciting to see you guys uh, back again so soon. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we were actually surprised at how soon we were coming back to Australia. You know, it's like I was just thinking about it there. I think that you know the last time we were probably back so soon was probably like ninety five into ninety six. We we did it like you know back to back years. Um, but you know, like after after ninety six, it was like ninety nine. We're back then two thousand and one. So really, you know, to get to get back within one calendar year after being being around for thirty years is a uh, is pretty good. You know, we're pretty excited. We weren't expecting it at all. So it feels like uh, yeah, it feels like super exciting to get back and uh, can't wait for it. How do you? How many times do you think you've been out? Because it's a bit of a. I had a I had a look and it's it varies from. Some people say five to six, but I reckon it's closer to ten at least. It's all oh like yeah, that. you think yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah well, I'm sure we've been there on like every record we've done, and we've done we we must have done you know if you count in the A to Z as a couple of records, we must have been there. Uh, I, I, it must be it must be in double figures now for sure. Yeah, that's what I figured. Yeah, because I yeah. yeah, like you said, you've had a you've had a run of where you've you know come back to back years and and in and then you know for the each record launch and in between but uh so um is there so is it like a kind of a second home i know it's a bit of a it's a it's a bad cliche question but you don't mind coming uh, no, out? yeah i mean yeah i mean it's like you know it's, it's totally the other side of the world but you know it's like we're we're speaking the same language more or less <laughs> and uh um yeah it's just like we we love we love getting back there it's just um i was like every time i go i always come back home like said to my wife it's like oh, australia is amazing should we should we move there um she hasn't bitten yet but you know <laughs> bit, bit by um, bit. I, I absolutely love it you know it's a, it, and it's you know it's an intense most of the times we've been there it's pretty intense you know we're sort of like in and out it's a lot of travel around the country and uh you know getting the shows done and you know like about a week or just over a week or whatever but um we've we've had a few tours where we've managed to spend a bit of time there and it's just that uh, you know i absolutely love it it's always a delight to get back so yeah looking uh, forward. And we, we don't take it for granted you know we've been around for 30 years and you know anytime we get back there it's like we want to make the most of it so yeah yeah, no, no, that's no, it's pretty amazing. Like it's yeah, like I think particularly, you know, that early period, you know, like where it was really sort of um pretty and it would have been pretty intense for you guys as well, you know, that was that kind of from that first I mean, the first big record, I mean, that kind of dropped, you know, I suppose over here. Um, yeah, it was really it would have been crazy, you know. Yeah, yeah, I guess you know on on 1977 record, which you know come out in, in 96. I think you know we'd been there the year before, but we we weren't kind of. Uh, I don't think we were prepared prepared for the success of that record and sort of like how much you know. I think I think you know it was like being like young kids and having having a number one album in the UK. We kind of thought, okay, we we've kind of made it, but we we'd no idea that was when the hard work. Yeah, <laughs> from the start. So it was a, it was a, it was a big learning curve for us back then. And you know, I think, you know, we like, look back at like old footage of us in in Australia for on that tour. And I think we were pretty burnt out at that point. But you know, it's like, you know, I, I, I don't know. We we've come to you know, really appreciate. You know, it's like it's it's a long way to go. A tour, and you know, we you know we made a lot of fans in that record, and you know, we've you know we we see them every every few years ever since so it's like a it's it's a real privilege to be still coming there yeah no that's no, fantastic and like you said i'm not surprised yeah you would have been burned out because it really you know you guys were super young you know starting off and then but it's really you know it's it's kind of transitioned to really you know like you've you know as the albums have changed and that but it would have been you know that's what i was kind of hinting at because that would have been a really um at the peak of kind of i suppose uh you know that that terrible brick pop word word and that that was very you know um yeah it would have been intense yeah yeah it was intense you know we were doing a lot of touring like internationally i think you know it's like i think when we were we sort of done australia we were, we were kind of like right we've done everywhere we're ready to go home and then we had these like other american tours come in <laughs> After, after that and it was just like while we were in australia we thought we were going home and then there was another like 10 weeks of touring around the state so we we're just like oh man <laughs> <laughs> it was intense but you know, like, 
But, you know, at the same time, it's like when we next came back to Australia, which was on the uh, nuclear science record, um, yeah. which, you know, hadn't met the same sort of commercial success. It almost felt like getting to Australia was like kind of like a, a really kind of rejuvenating experience because we're doing the big day out. And it was just like, you know, it was kind of the opposite of the last time we'd been there. We had all this time to do stuff. We we're doing these big massive festival dates yeah. and then like smaller size shows. And it just felt like, you know, it felt like just the, the polar opposite of the, the last time. So it's like, you know, every time we've been, we've kind of like known what to expect and we, we kind of got our heads around what it's like to turn in Australia and dealing with the jet lag and stuff. And it's just like, it's just great. It's just great. We love it. Yeah, it's been. It's yeah. I mean, it's been. Yeah, it's hard to when I I couldn't even you know like I I kind of listened from your very early records you know and um yeah when you said the time frame of like thirty years that's 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 crazy isn't it like it's really hard to imagine yeah. really. <laughs> Oh, totally, yeah, and you know, it's like you know, for a band that's been around that, as a, you know, we've got all these anniversaries that you know, like people kind of mark on on social media and stuff, and you you, <laughs> you get all these people going like, "Oh my god, I feel so old" and stuff, and it's like, I kind of kind of realized recently, it's not that they feel old, it's just that they've reminded they actually are that old, so you're actually feeling younger ah. than you realize. So, so it's a good thing. <laughs> That's my spin on it anyway. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. I take, yeah, I take that. I, I think when the last time when even Teenage Fan Club were out and then it was like, um, and, and they're in the crowd and they said, oh, this one's for the, you know, for the for the older people who know them, whatever. And it was like, you know, bandwagon esque or that. And then I was like, no, but that can't be that long ago. And I was like, no, it was. But like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it does, as you said, it gives that kind of youthful spirit because you're just like, no, no, no! It's taking me back to that. Um, and um, yeah, yeah, well, I guess it's a bit of a double-edged sword because you, know, when you're listening to it, you're you're feeling as you know you feel as young as you were when you kind of first heard that stuff and what it meant to you. But then also you've got like got the the, the cold hard fact that that was decades ago. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> it's kind of like it's it's kind of like the track on your. Uh, your album that we're going to talk about, um, the usual places, which I I, I love. That's one of my oh, favorite thanks. tracks. Um, I love the the music of it. I love the film clip and and the lyrics. It's all you know. It's it's all together. It's really great. Yeah, yeah. And that's a, that's a, a that's quite a personal one with with us as well because I think that was that was kind of written the first day that we got to, back together after being like separated due to the whole COVID stuff. Yeah, we, yeah. It was the longest we've been been away and i remember i remember sort of just sort of playing through in fact it actually might have been written before but i remember that was one that stood out that we were sort of like we hadn't recorded at that point where we were just sort of like trying to get it ready and sort of the arrangement but it was just like it kind of like the lyrics of that kind of encapsulate encapsulated a lot of what had gone on over over that the, the course of the previous you know i don't know how many months it was like not quite a year and a half but not far off it and like I hadn't seen the other guys in the band for that whole time. Oh wow! Uh, which is you know that's unheard of for us. And you know, it was like you know we're just going like, oh, God, are we going to remember how to do this or you know whatever? And then we got into that room and we were like working on working on that song, and it was just like, oh, this is just this is just amazing. So yeah, it's like a yeah, it's quite a, an emotional resonance uh, resonance with that one with the band as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, 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 I love the whole record. I think it's really good. I think it's a, you know, you're always going to say that, you know, your latest record is one of your best. I, I think it is because I think it's a mix of everything that you've done. Um, it's got the kind of, you know, the anthems in there. It's got the poppiness, but it's also got the kind of balls out kind of rocking as well. And the quieter moments, it's, 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 it's very well balanced. Yeah, it's um, it's an interesting record for sure, and I think we, we you know, we've we've noticed a lot of comparisons to like, you know, sort of like Free All Angels time, which is you know, it's like over twenty years ago, and people say it's your best record since then. You know, it's like, and you do, you know, when you put out your albums, you do, you know, you do think it's the best thing you've done, or it's like, you know, you, yeah, you, you, <laughs> you know, you you know, you, you've got to love what you're working on, um, at the time, but you know, it's like to to be getting those kind of like to be getting that reception for the new record is like you know it's, it, it means a lot um and it, it's i guess it's it's a very different record in terms of the way the whole thing was being being made as well because there was like to be honest we probably could have had an album out 
with some of these songs maybe in like 2019 and it, to be honest it's been our goal like ever since you know we we had the a to z thing which was around like 2009 2010 where it was just like all singles and then after you know we said we'd never do an album again then we went back to albums and ever since we've gone back to albums where our plan has been we want to get albums out like really consistency like with more frequency we've got a lot of material but there's always been something that's sort of gotten in the way. And I think back in 2019, it was the, the record company wanted to it just bought all our back catalog. Ah. And they were like, we, we want to put out this big kind of best of to celebrate your whole, whole career. And it's like, okay, cool. You know, so we're focused on the new music, but it's like kind of made sense to do that. And it was like, sort of, you know, we'll, we'll do that. And that's going to set up the next record. And it's like, okay, fine. So we were kind of had like an album's worth of stuff, which was on hold we're touring the sort of best of stuff and re- the writing process was just continuing. So we started to stockpile on all these songs and then obviously, you know, COVID happened. Yeah. Um, and Tim was continuing to write, you know, by himself. So we got back together and we write more and more stuff. And it, it turned out we'd like over two albums worth of stuff by the time it felt kind of like the right time. Wow. To kind of like work and work and stuff and sort of like get it together. So it was like, with some a lot of stuff finished and then we did a lot of stuff like in the works and i was kind of looking at it because both sets of material were quite kind of eclectic and sort of jumping sort of around stylistically and i was like why don't we take sort of like the more guitar stuff on the on the early stuff and put it with the new stuff that's more guitar so we'll have a more of a kind of like cohesive it was like kind of like you know it's like let's try and try and make something of this weird situation we're finding yeah. and try because i think you know that uh, i'd be lying if i didn't say that i think like a lot of our records kind of jump around a lot and it was just like a chance to do something a little bit different and sort of like streamline things and give it you know try and give the album a little bit more of a an identity um and and a, and a direction you know and within that you know, it's like the idea was like, right, the more guitar stuff. But even within that, we've got, you know, we've got stuff like Like a God, which is, you know, very rock. You've got like Brain Dead, which is like really like your punkier side of Ash. And then yeah. you've got like Crashed Out Wasted, which is, I don't even know what that is, but it's yeah. like <laughs> <laughs> still you know, within that sort of guitar world, it's, it's still kind of, you know, got our kind of, you know, sort of dipping into like various styles. So, but I think it's just like made it for more of a sort of cohesive experience. So yeah, it's a, it's, it's, it's probably why the records kind of like got a little bit more attention than the last few albums, I guess. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's got, it's, it, it, it's, I think it's quite balanced. Like you said, it's got all those kind of elements, but then it's also got some, I think the, you know, the quieter moments as well, which is good. Like the, the one with the guest vocalist, uh, Oslo, like that's, yeah. yeah, yeah. Cause that's, that's, that, that was quite, surprising not you know not to say that you know you haven't done kind of uh melodic or even melancholic kind of songs but um yeah great great song and you know like a big difference between say the tracks preceding it as well yeah i don't think it's and it's also it's the first time we've like, done a duet as well so it's like oh wow kind of like, like breaking new ground for us as well yeah i think oh, i love that song as well um it's a bit of a challenge to play live because I'm I'm kind of like like Tim well Tim sings the main thing and I'm doing like a few like back and vocal bits in the chorus so but we we've managed to do it like a couple of times with uh uh the singer on the record uh Demira and she her voice is just like absolutely amazing when you hear it in person it's just like shivers up the spine wow. like just fantastic so hopefully there'll be some more um chances to do that with her I think she's uh she's based in uh Amsterdam or you oh, yeah, yeah. I think so yeah maybe if we get out there might be might be a bit much to bring her to Australia so you just have to <laughs> um <laughs> close okay. close your eyes and if I, if I can get the back and vocals right you can oh, that's right. yeah I was gonna say is that yeah that, that, that might be a because I know you're a man of you know many talents from your um you know you play a few instruments and you've got your own side project too which is quite good as well I have heard some of that stuff um is it Bert's um, Witches um, Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, that's like that's pretty much. Um, in fact, I think it just like signed off on the final mixes yesterday for that. I mean, the, oh, the wow. stuff, the stuff you've heard was basically it's just like I was kind of learning how to record by myself when I was doing it as well. And the the editing is all over the place, the plans all over the place. But 
it was basically I came up with a name. I was like, oh man, I don't want anyone to steal this. So just like threw threw out some demos just to sort of like plant my plant my yeah, flag. Yeah. On. But yeah, so that's that's just kind of like wrapped up. So yeah, it's just like you know, it's it's been a yeah, it's been like completely self funded project and stuff. So we just need to figure out like how it's going to be released now. So it's yeah, it's been it's been a journey of kind of like doing everything myself and. I'm kind of enjoying that process. I think I've got, I've got a lot out of it already before it's released. You know, it's like kind of like been a growing process as a musician, but yeah. But you're I, not going yeah, you're not gonna extend your vocals to the guest vocalist range. <laughs> that's that's probably <laughs> bridge too far. Yeah, 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 so, yeah. To, to try and get that that I don't think I've quite got like a female seven foot tall Dutch girl in me. <laughs> <laughs> and if you. Have you always done backing vocals? Like I, I, I kind of do when you've come out. I've seen you, you know, a few times when you've come out to Australia. But have you always done the backing vocals? I, I, I've not actually. I think it's like I've, I started doing them um, after we parted ways with Charlotte. Actually, oh like, yeah, yeah. Know, a big part of what what she did was the backing vocals, which she never really had before. And yeah, it's just like a kind of like Mark. Mark's always said, you know, I I can't play and sing at the same time. It's just like, yeah. It's just like when there's a mic there, it's just like he, he just can't get, get his head around it. It's like, okay, well, I'll, I'll give it a shot then. And yeah, I, I, I really enjoy doing it, actually. It's a, um, you know, it's like, it, it's, you know, it's a bit more to take on. It's like just, but yeah, it's, it's, it's a fun thing to do. Yeah, no, no, no. Okay, look, it comes across well. I think it does. That's, that's oh, another cool. element to it, you know, most definitely. Um, so here's the, uh, two things has the album been pretty well received and my other question is how um i've had a little bit a look at your current kind of set list how the songs you know been live as well the ones you've played yeah i mean the the, the reception's been absolutely amazing you know as, as i was saying before a lot of people saying it's you know our best album in 20 years and stuff you know and it's like well i'm not gonna argue with that you know it's yeah. like a pretty good thing to hear um um and in terms of in terms of set list, yeah, I mean it's like I think for a band that's been around as long as us, it's um, it's interesting. The it, it's always a balance between like how much new stuff you can get, you think you can get away with versus the stuff that you know a lot of people have like you know they've they've got their you know teenage memories wrapped up in in the in the earlier stuff as well. So it's a bit a bit of a balance. And there's there's been times where we've been like, oh, maybe we shouldn't do too much but i think we got to the point where we we're like you know what there's some of these songs where you know if we don't play them now we're never going to play them yeah you know so it's like we make the make the most of that opportunity when there's a new album to get to get stuff in the set and i gotta say it's like you know it's this album's like it's i think the last few albums to be honest it seems to have fit it fit it in like really well to the set and you know it's like i think people are you know kind of know to expect that these days um because yeah, that's you know, kind so. of that's that's the way sorry to interrupt you that's the way now that's it's um i mean when you think about it and i particularly think of um like 1977 and i suppose a lot of bands around that era in that 90s it was very single driven wasn't it like it was you know there yeah. was a it was like you know knock your left right and center with like the next one and even um i remember buying from you guys and, and and other bands around that time, even the singles, because you'd get, you know, the B sides on it and they'd, they'd be real, you know, it'd be really exciting, you know, like to 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 get those things. Yeah. Oh yeah, I, I think so. And I'm and, and you know, maybe another part of it as well is like in the last, I don't know, like 10 years or so, the the you know, the the idea, the whole idea of like anniversary shows has become much more accepted. So people know that like, you know, that those shows will come up yeah. through time so it's like they are going to hear like some of the more obscure stuff off the early stuff at that point so they're, they're kind of getting that they're getting that itch scratched every every once in a while so so it's like you can get away with playing a lot more like maybe new material that maybe you know if that hadn't become a thing over the last like 10 15 years that you know people might be getting a little bit more pissed off yeah <laughs> five tracks off the new album but it, ma it makes every tour unique and you know keeps people coming back so it's also i mean it's also for you as well like it's just you don't you know over the 30 years to 
play in the same track so many times, you know, as, as, as classic as they are, but it's, you know, they always want to hear, you know, the the five or six classic songs that you're known for, you know, that you could just reel off like bang, bang, bang like that, you know what I mean? Like that's... Yeah, um, yeah. Well, that's the thing. I always say, like, you know, if I was in charge of the set list, um, like out of out of the three of us, I, I'd, be the, I'd be the one most likely to say, hey, like maybe we shouldn't play all these songs that people want because <laughs> you know i'm i'm um I, th I think tim tim and mark are always like no nah, we gotta do it we gotta do it i mean and, and i'm fine doing it as well but yeah you know, so I, I, sometimes i think it's like oh maybe maybe you know maybe not giving everyone everything they want all the time yeah is is good i guess it's good to good to challenge people and just go you know i want to do what i want but you know it's 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 never going to happen with Tim and Mark anyway, so don't worry about it. But <laughs> <laughs> and you, if, if if I get put in charge of the set list, you will know. <laughs> <laughs> and you never, you know, you're never going to get everything anyway because it was funny. Like, yeah, well, exactly, exactly. You're you're never going to please everyone all the time anyway. So it's like you might as well please yourself. But that's my take on it. Yeah, Tim, Tim, yeah. Tim. Um, but you know, it's like I'm at the same time. I'm never going to do like you know a radio head and just refuse to play. Yeah, something, something for an entire tour or or whatever. It, you know, it's just. It, but it's but at the same time, I think it's it's more fun to sort of mix it up and surprise people. Yeah, I was going to say that. That's just me, you know. No, no, no. And I think the surprise thing, like it was, um, me and my friends went to um, Iron Maiden recently, and they played oh, yeah. they played all the old stuff, but they didn't play everything that everyone wanted to hear, and they slotted in some new stuff, and people were like, you know the way that social media works beforehand, they were like, I can't believe they're not going to play this. And they're all, you know, all, all getting wound up, but it, it worked like the new songs and you didn't get everything, but that's, you shouldn't expect that, you know, like yeah, yeah. to get every yeah. single, you know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, well, like, I was saying uh, they're, they're on their what, 50th anniversary, like next year, I think. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so you, you know, it's like if, if, if they were to, you know, try and do something to please everyone they're going to be on stage for like six hours oh yeah, yeah. you know what i mean <laughs> so, it's just like it's impossible but you know it's like well as you say with social media as well you know it's like if you're changing it up every night it becomes a bit of a talking point as well it's just like, oh yeah, like, yeah what am i going to get and it sort of like fuels a bit of you know excitement around it yeah no people you know yeah people like they, they, they thrive on that um i wanted to talk about the new album as well the um the artwork, where did that concept, because it's kind of like a, it's a bit 80s, it's a bit cyberpunk, it's a bit, um, I mean, I love it. I think it's really, it yeah. pops. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's it definitely stands out. Um, I think it's like one of our one of our best co covers. Um, but yeah, it was, um, I think we just sort of like had the, that sort of like idea, but we found, um, I think it's through Tim's brother, it was a guy he went to school with, who's like doing like, great great artwork so we just like sent him sort of like a vague, vague idea of like you know i think we had the idea of a car and sort of like escape and we had the album title as well so race yeah. the night was just, I thought you know it's like the race element you were thinking you know so, something to do with the car and he sent us a couple of versions actually where it's like there's the one that's that's behind you which became the album cover obviously but there was another one which I thought was really cool, which was from the inside per perspective of a car. Oh, wow. Uh, it was like you know, a, a girl and a guy kind of like, um, sort of like, you know, we're, we're looking out at the, you know, I guess it was like, you know, the, the moonscape or whatever. And that, oh, and that yeah, back, yeah. Which, which I thought was kind of, kind of cool. But I think T Tim and Mark saw this version. They were like, oh yeah, it's just like, it's, it's kind of epic, you know? And uh, yeah, yeah. It's pretty cool. And he's, he's a, um, he's a, just he was just brilliant it was just like we pretty we hardly any tweaks to it as well it was just like it it was delivered to us and it was just like oh wow i mean can't go thing. wrong and i love it i love the touch of the number plate with the ash on it as well i think that's that's great. Uh, yeah, yeah. i think that's that's clever yeah, yeah. like it's um and there was a i don't know if you see i don't know if you see because you probably don't see every review there was this really um the word would be lame review of the album and it and it went into okay. I don't, and it was like talking. It was indirectly referring to the album cover, and it was saying, "There goes feeder in a Reno, whatever, and a something." It, it was, it was, it was kind of crucifying the album, saying it was average, but it was doing all these like car things, and I was, 
I was okay. like, what? Okay. <laughs> I, I've, not, I've not seen that one. Um, yeah, hopefully. <laughs> oh, it's pretty funny. It's pretty funny. Like it's, I think yeah, it's, yeah. It, yeah. It, 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 I think it was almost uh, focusing on the guy trying to make this comedy element about the, you know, these other bands or something like that. And it, okay, it, yeah, it was not really kind of looking at the music. It was, yeah, but I mean that that look, look that happens. That's you know, yeah. Um, well, I I think it's I think it's quite it's it's quite good that those sort of reviews still exist these days. I think there's 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 definitely a tendency in re reviews for everything to be sort of like. You know, like, oh yeah, this is great. Going by, you know what I mean. I think there's the, that's a certain part of the culture. So that that sort of like, you know, that like they take taking an idea and then turning it into a piece to slag something off. It's like I'm glad there's people out there that are still doing that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's it. Yeah, that's the. Yeah, I mean, that's it's it, it's entertaining, and you know, it's um the way they go yeah. about it. Even if it's it can be inaccurate. I mean, this was pretty inaccurate. I I think. Um, yeah. These things, these things don't tend to bother me. So yeah, that's right. Um, I was also going to talk about. I've I've heard the uh, what what would you call it the the expanded version of the album I, with the um, it's got the um acoustic tracks. Oh yeah, yeah. And also the lot the longer version of um, like a god. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's great. I thought the kind of uh, some of the acoustic stuff. It almost had like an element like the jam or something like that, like really getting back into that real. Oh, okay, okay, that's cool. That kind of feel yeah. like in a in a, in a great way. Um, yeah. And but but yeah, the uh, like a god version, I um, that was even more epic. Like I I probably even like it more than the main version, and and I could tell before before you speak, I could tell you had a bit of fun with the drumming, the extra drumming. Oh like yeah. That. <laughs> Is yeah, that yeah. I mean, that that was that that was a fun one for sure but it was um it was it was it was making the sequencing of the album like like a bit of a nightmare because obviously we had like crashed out wasted which is like quite an epic as well and then like it got they both like you know like six minutes plus you know um and to sort of like try and make the album flow with those two really long pieces on it was just like a nightmare so was, but i think some uh, we, we were kind of loath to like just get rid of it in the record because you know we were basically we we're just trying to sequence the vinyl that was the that was the issue ah, just yes, the, that makes sense. It and it was like okay well, well i was like i can't remember even whose idea it was like let, let's sort of split it up and just have it as like a kind of reprise thing which we'd never done before and it was just like okay yeah that that, that kind of works but it's good good that we've had this you know expanded edition so people have the opportunity to kind of hear how it was originally conceived. So, yeah, it's yeah. definitely. It's a cool one. It's like, I, I was saying to someone earlier, it was like, we've never done the full version live. Wow. Yet. Yeah. So it's, um, and it, it's a, it, obviously we're doing, we're, we're usually doing crashed out wasted live as well. So it's like, yeah. kind of like having these two epics in the, in the set kind of like is kind of challenging, but you know, it's like, we're getting towards the end of the touring cycle for for um, race of the night, so it's like if if we don't if we don't do it soon, we never will. Yeah, <laughs> I'll see. I'll see if I can talk the guys into it, doing it at least on one of the shows in Australia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd, That'd be kind of cool, but you know, no promises. I'm sure I'll get. No, over no, no, no. But it, but I could hear. <laughs> yeah, the way like with that extended version, it was like you know that really kind of um, yeah that epic. It really was more epic and really intense, and you could hear it sounded like you were having a whole heap of fun on it. Like it just it was kind yeah. of obviously. I mean, all of you were like kind of wigging out on it, which is you know kind of good. Yeah, I think it was just like it was probably I think it was a, a spontaneous thing in the studio as well. We sort of came to the end of it, and then I think Tim just started started playing playing the riff slow, and uh, and I I just like started joining. We all just sort of joined in in on it, and then just like and then took off and it was just like yeah you know what let's 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 record it like that so yeah it's, it's great a, yeah it's a fun for sure. yeah yeah i know a little bit self-indulgent but hey you know it's been oh, 30 years. Yeah. you gotta have that um yeah. i was gonna say so um so you when you guys started the band you were like uh 15 16 is that right around about that age yeah yeah that's right yeah yeah so how, how how have you kept it together you know as a you know kind of a 
comrades over that period of time. It's obviously, you know, a lot of, uh, quite a few life changes in between, I imagine, obviously. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's, 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 there's plenty of water under the bridge, that's for sure. But yeah, I, I don't know. It's like I, I kind of wish I knew what our secret was. I think it's just like the, the, the blend of personalities is kind of, kind of worked out. You know, it's yeah. like there's no, there's no massive egos. And, you know, it's like yeah, you, know, you obviously you have your disagreements. You, you know, it would be weird if you didn't have disagreements over a thirty year career. You know, but I think you know, we know, we always know that whatever the disagreement is, like everyone's got the, the what's best for the band in mind it's not like well i want to do this and i was like well i want to do this you know it's like what's best for the band is like the like the the you know deciding factor in what we do so you know it's like we we can work our disagreements out pretty easily you know yeah yeah and i think it makes it for uh you know it's 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 good that you have you know someone hasn't said oh no i don't want to go in this direction or i don't want to do that because the the catalog has kind of ebbed and flowed like not in a ups and downs but like variety across that yeah, catalog yeah yeah and it's always you know we're all, we're all always excited for you know trying new new things and you know like nothing's off limits um and you know it's like speaking of which you know we're we're um i'll not use that phrase we're, we're quite far into the process of you know as I said with Race the Night where we almost had like two albums worth of stuff we're kind of back there again at the minute we um we did wow. some recording uh, drums uh, last month. Mark's been into doing bass, and we've got like pretty much the same kind of range of songs that we've uh, we had um, prior to race the night sort of being being completed. So we're yeah, it's um we just need to kind of figure out what direction the next record's going, and then the the record after that. So there's just, there's still a big stockpile of stuff to do out there, and uh, yeah, we're just excited to to see what what comes of it yeah because that's always the thing isn't because like you said it's uh you know songs you know on this album were even like pre-covid and that's like anyone you know myself included when you're a you know a musician or in any part of a band um by the time it gets you know the songs come together you play them live and then the record comes out the songs are pretty old and so you're ready to like you know and you've got to promote it but you've got the new babies in the wings. <laughs> yeah, yeah. People forget about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know. I think we, we, we kind of, you know, we kind of reconcile to it. It's, like it. it's a good problem to have, you know. It's like, and, you know, I think, you know, ever since, you know, the whole, the whole COVID thing and that putting, putting things on ice, it's kind of, I guess we're, you know, we're just like, it was kind of, you know, crap what happened and, you know, not be, busy not being in a band for a year, but we're kind of making the most of it now, you know, and we've got, we got two albums worth and it's like kind of figuring out just finishing a bunch of stuff and figuring out what goes together and what direction the next two albums have. So, I mean, there's, there's some stuff out there that's probably going to surprise a lot of people, but whether that makes the next record or the one after that, we're not sure. It's like, I think, you know, the current thinking at the minute is like this record is going to be a bit, a little bit of a transition and then having something that's, you know, it's kind of like signposting the way to the, to the follow up. Oh, wow. To that. So yeah, I mean that's that that's kind of our thinking, but but obviously that that's going to change, you know. So there's we need we need need to get stuff finished before we're like sure and what what's what's going to happen. But it's exciting, you know. It's like you know, thirty plus years we've been around and we're still like you know doing stuff we've never done before. So it's yeah, it's always fresh. It's always exciting. Yeah, I was going to say you've got all that new stuff coming, and I think that's the. I mean, the way that I see it is as well is also when you look at the amount of bands that were around that time that don't exist now. And I think, I think um, yourself and Supergrass, I think your catalog has, it's lasted over that time and it's developed and it's, it's, I would say it's, it's much deeper than, you know, cause we know around that time, the amount of bands that came and went and like um, almost third tier bands that were pretty ordinary, <laughs> you know, um, that yeah. have disappeared after, you know, a very short period of time. But, you know, like that's what that's what I love with you guys and Supergrass. Like the cat the catalog's so good. That they're they're very deep albums and they're yeah. you know, yeah, considered and different albums. Yeah, I mean with the longevity we've had, I guess we're doing something right, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I mean, I mean it's definitely there. What are the what do you think uh, what are the biggest uh, 
so far their biggest career highlights and lowlights over over the 30 years anything that kind of stands out yeah, well, obviously, with the you know with the the debut album, uh, nineteen seventy seven, going to number one. Num- sorry, that's my my email beeping there. Apologies yeah. for that. Should have turned that off. But yeah, with that album going to number one, and that was like a that was a bit of a roller coaster. You know, it was like very you know huge highs, but it was like also uh, as I said before, it was like highs that we weren't really prepared for. Mm. You know what I mean? So it was a it was a it was a big learning curve as well. But you know, it's like and you know, it's like the follow up album to that, obviously not doing as commercially well um although it, it's kind of interesting because a lot of fans would would say that's their their, their favorite album it's like there's a lot of kind of in, introspection and that you know i think maybe having you know over 20 years to sort of like um sort of like get some perspective on it. i think there's like maybe a lot of our fans were sort of like you know in the first album were sort of in their university years and just like crazy years of their life. And then like maybe the, you know, the, the nuclear science period is more like, Oh, here, here comes reality kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of what it was for us as well. So maybe, you know, they were, they were reading a lot of what we were going through into their own lives again in that record. So that's maybe why that's a, that's a favorite for, for fans or some more of the hardcore fans, but you know, it's like um, follow up record to that was like, uh, free all angels and i think that one's kind of really set, set us up for you know dealing with you know whatever kind of we went through as a band that we could survive it you know we'd had the the previous album which didn't do so well and it was like i think you know coming into uh like writing and recording free all angels there was very much a feeling of as you said there was a lot of a lot of our contemporaries were splitting up or getting dropped by the record company mm. We kind of we kind of felt it as well. We were like, you know, this could be our last record, but we kind of went into it with the attitude of like, if this is our last record, we're going to make damn sure it's our best record. And just like, you know, I think we were young enough to have that kind of bravado, and uh, you know, kind of kind of successfully pull it off. But you know, to to go from you know sort of being written off to coming back with that album and the way that was received, it kind of gave us the, this confidence that you know, no matter how things were received, we could get through it as a band, and you know maybe that's a maybe that's the secret to our longevity. I don't know. Yeah, because it's a tr- it's a it's a tricky one with that second album, isn't it? For like a lot of bands, like it's a you know that could be the you know like you said, drop by your label and all those all those kind of things. I mean, you had that obviously that artist integrity that you guys have had since the start, you know, from the early EP and that all the way following through. But you know, when you're talking. You know, you're on a label, and you know where where the singles are charting, and you know all those kind of things. It's um, yeah, you could easily say, well, that's you know we're done, you know. So yeah, and that's that's the thing that you know it probably gets forgotten about as well because we we used up a lot of the early songs on the trailer mini album before we even got to 1977. I mean, we'd we'd held back "Girl from Mars," and I think that was about it. So everything was it was almost like our debut record was the difficult second record, if yeah. you like, you know? <laughs> and then, and then touring that and on top of that being burnt out by that as well. Then it was like, then it was like a lot of pressure on nuclear songs from the record company when we just like nothing left, you know, we think we toured for about 18 months and I hadn't written a single song. So it was like, it was wow. like, crap, we're, we're, we're back to this and we're, and we're, you know, wrecked from the, the last two years yeah. of, <laughs> of turn you know so yeah so the, yeah it's like the it's all like there's there's a there's a way of looking at it where 1977 is the difficult second record which we managed to pull off and then like yeah it's like pure burnout on the on the album after that but yes yeah, just like you know getting through the getting through those years and sort of surviving intact as you know as but that's probably probably the key to why we're still around these days yeah no no and obviously you know, obviously still enjoying it. And, you know, obviously, because, I, um, you know, you know, now you've got, um, I think most of your members have got families and, you know, uh, partners and yeah. kids and all those kind of things. So you want to kind of keep it, um, you know, it's, you've got to have that motivation to keep going, you know. So that's. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, and, and to be honest, you know, it's like, I think for, I speak for myself, it's just like every passing year, I should enjoy it more and more. You know, it's like, 
and you know it's like i think you know early early days there was a lot of craziness and stuff but you know it's like the it feels the older i get it's just like the, the more it's just like just doing the gigs is just becoming like more and more enjoyable and yeah i just yeah i really you know it's because like, we're you know we're not touring like we used to in terms of you know back in the you know, late 90s it was like nine months of the year just on yeah. the roads so like it's not been that intense compared to that so it's like you know any any opportunity to do it you just like you embrace it with open arms yeah so. yeah and it's and it's yeah and i suppose yeah those early days too it's that pressure there to get your name out there and to you know and and also probably the record companies you know wanting to line up all these uh different things like probably uh you know appearing at record stores and all that all that kind of malarkey yeah. as well you know <laughs> back then yeah yeah, well, I think you know it's like we've we've had you know thirty years of that, so it's like we know what to expect these days, and we can take it in our stride a bit more, you know, and just like kind of appreciate the the whole experience. Whereas like you know, there's at times we you know in the early days we're just like, oh man, I could do it with a break, and there just wasn't one, so you just yeah. had to like sort of plow on through it, drink your way through it, whatever, yeah. <laughs> whatever. It is. But yeah, we can we can kind of appreciate it for what it is these days. At least you know that's that's how I feel. Yeah, no, that's that's yeah, that's great. I mean, it, it yeah, no, I mean, it shows in the record, and um, yeah, it definitely shows live. Like, it's not a you know, it's not a you're not there to kind of uh, fill in the time because no one wants to see a band do that. Like, it just like you know, like they a band that gets on the stage for the first two songs, and you think, oh, hang on a minute, <laughs> this is yeah, um, they don't look like they're having fun, you know, like that's <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, we've you know. It, it, you know so it, it's a lot of effort to put in to, to do it you know so if you if you don't enjoy it i don't know why you would even go through with it you know it's like it's, exactly it's always, it's like it's an honor honor to you know be traveling the world and and, and, and playing for people you know it's like you, just, you know, don't take that lightly you know it's like and there's you know there's there's countless bands out there that you know people could be spending their money on so it's like if they're coming to see us you got to put you got to put on a show for sure yeah, so you so you guys are you guys are here really soon. I think it's like um Yeah. Next week is next week or the week after, isn't it? Yeah, well, I think I'm 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 leaving next. We're we're doing a show on Singapore on the way, which is on yeah. the fourth fourth. So I think the first show is on the sixth of October in in Perth. Yeah. And then, yeah, and then we're 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 there for I think it's about two weeks, I think, going through Australia and New Zealand. Nice. So, so the it's yeah. and it and it's so it's kind of the tour sold as a singles tour. So um it's um yeah, so is it mainly focusing it's getting like we I mean we discussed it earlier, but you know, mostly the hits plus plus the new newbies. Yeah, yeah, exactly. If, if you're yeah. not in charge of the set list, <laughs> like <laughs> we said earlier. Yeah, well we 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 yeah, we we have our disagreements about it, but yeah, we're we're um yeah. In fact, well Arguably, our sound engineer is in, t- in charge of the set list because he's 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 the one that we we just give him a pool of songs and then he's like, right, this is the this is the the order and it's kind of like it, we've been doing that for the last little while and he kind of like takes care of the flow of stuff, which is kind of like, we never had anyone else's in, input before, but he's he's worked with us for like you know twelve years now and stuff, and he's like, oh wow, yeah. excellent, yeah, he knows what he's doing. <laughs> so yeah, he's, no, no. And you've it kind of it comes at it from a different perspective to what we we would and it's kind of like it's it's kind of good to good to see that good to see that change and it always seems to work so yeah no the the, the set list that i've seen there yeah they they are varied it's not like the uh you know the the continuous same set list and i've seen there's some you know gems gem early gems there and then some uh you know kind of even obscure cuts from some of the albums and stuff so i think it's really good yeah. that'll be you know yeah. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, it's like we've got like you know, you know, thirty years of singles to to choose from out there. Yeah, so yeah. Sure there'll be a bit of a variety. So, oh, that's good. Well, um, thank you so much for your time. Really enjoyed chatting to you, and uh, yeah, likewise, likewise. And uh, look forward to you guys. Um, yeah, playing playing Melbourne. I'm from Melbourne myself. Uh, okay. So, um, yeah, it'll be. It, it's always a good show. So. Um, yeah. And um, yeah, we and, and we also look forward to the uh, by the sound of the next couple of albums that are going to be coming out. So yeah, yeah, and hopefully, hopefully they'll, they'll present more opportunities to come back to to see you as well. You know, um, and and not only uh, two albums and 
well, I guess we've got another anniversary coming up for um for 1977 and in uh, not too long, about 18 months time, I guess. Wow. Um. So yeah. <laughs> It's it. Yeah, I'm sure we'll, we'll get out there for at least some of those. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, the tour cycle, the tour cycle is never going to end for you. So that's <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We've reached that reached that point. It's just never ending tour now. So yeah, no. Can't well, can't thank you. About that. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much for your time. And um, yeah, um, great album. Really, really enjoyed it. Um, and look forward awesome. to seeing it live. Awesome. Great. Okay. We'll see you in Melbourne then. Looking forward yeah, to yeah, it. Yeah, we'll see you soon. All right. Okay. Thanks so much. Take care, man. Thanks. All right. You too. Yeah. All Cheers. Right. See you later. Brain dead. I'm gone.